Yes. But when you wear it, when people, when you used to wear it, did people give you some good comments about it? Okay, and then. But did anyone, for example, said bad comment about it? So then, which means you you are not receiving a bad comments about it. You you actually kind of receiving maybe some comments about knowing who you are, wanted to know about you. And wanted maybe, uh, I want you just to, out of curiosity, which everyone is curious. Yeah? Yeah? So when you came, for example, you saw the sisters, you, you, you directly engaged with them because you wanted to know them. That's, this is how it is. This is our, our own, um, you could say, our, our own nature. When we, some, when we see something which is not, not commonly used, like the niqab is not commonly been wear, for example, in the UK, yeah? You will be, okay, yeah, what's, what made those people, what made those sisters to start wearing it? So we have this curiosity. So this curiosity, which it shouldn't, I, it shouldn't, for example, stops you from the, doing the good things. It actually should encourage you to continue to do it. Because actually, when you are not wearing it, you are making it more difficult for the other reverse sisters who wanted to wear it. Yes. Like if you didn't put the hijab, so if a new Muslim sister, for example, if today, suppose today, we had someone who took, who took shahada with us, a yeah. sister to take shahada. In your mind, you wanted her to be a good Muslim, am I right? Yeah. And you are expecting from her, maybe within a month or two months or a few months down the line, to start wearing the hijab, am I right? Yeah. You will have this in your mind. Yeah. And you say that's good for her to do that, to yeah. practice the faith. Yeah. But what will happen when she sees you? What's your name? What's Amanda. Your, Amanda. When she sees Amanda, when she sees other sisters who doesn't put on the hijab, they say, you know what? Since I'm surrounded yeah. with Muslims, uh -huh. Muslim sisters, who are good sisters, yeah. but they don't put on the hijab, let me just wait. Uh -huh. Then, instead that you will have a good, a positive impact on her, you will be what? A negative impact on her. So that's why the impact of the hijab, the impact of the hijab, people they think is a relation between you and Allah, which is true. But actually, it's not just only vertical relation, it's as well horizontal relation. Meaning, you are influencing the people around you. Yeah, you will have an impact to the people around you. You will have an impact on other men to look at you. And that's why the shaitan, when you say, yeah, I feel wanted to put on, to wear, you know, to show my hair, to put some makeup, to put this. Well, this is from, from the devil, from the shaitan, because this is how it is. This is the first trick. Yeah, it tricks this. Yeah, it, you know, it will say, so you will be gaining. You will be not just only have an influence on women by not putting on the hijab. You will have an influence on women as well not to lower their gaze and so on and so, on and so forth. So that is the key thing for the hijab. That's one thing. The other thing you see here. Now, for example, if you look there, if you look in that area, do you see any Muslim women? One second. Do you see any Muslim women? Look, look. Do you see? Yeah. So, what about these two? Do you think they're Muslims? These two, the other ladies? The white with the hair. The one with exposing their hair. Do you think they're Muslims? You don't know. You see here. But for example, how did you distinguish Muslim women from the non Muslim women? The hijab. Not necessarily the niqab, the hijab. Because I don't believe the niqab is wajib. If you put on the hijab, it's good. You, have, you, you start at least at a good point. But here, if you look here around, can you distinguish between Muslim brothers and non-Muslims? Here, you see here, what does that, so did, don't you notice that Allah has favored women with a hijab? So Allah wanted us men, we come, we give da'wah, we debate. Yeah, if there is people who are attacking you, we're going to be defending you guys, yeah? That's our duty as men, as Muslim men, yeah? But Allah has favored women with something in da'wah. With their appearance, you will recognize Islam is there. So Allah made them to be representatives of Islam. So they are like ambassadors of Islam. You see that sister that we just spoke to, by the way? That's a reverse sister. She's Romanian. You see her? She's Romanian. She started warning on the hijab. She's put on the hijab. Yeah, that sister. See, she's Romanian. Yeah? She, and she is a, she's a reverse, like yourself. And she put on the hijab. Now, 
Now, now she's still Romanian. She's still who she who she is. But she's Muslim. Her identity is what? Is Islam. Am I right? Now that makes you sister to do what? If you want Allah Azza wa if you are, if you believe in Islam, which I know you believe in Islam, you are convinced with Islam. That means make your Islam, make Islam is your identity. How? By doing what Allah Azza wa has commanded you to put on the hijab, to do what Allah has commanded you. And that case, you will feel good inside you that you at least, you are not sinning. Secondly, you will be empowering other reverts to put on the hijab. Yeah? When you see that sister, revert sister, she's a revert and putting on the hijab. So it, now here, you, in your mind now, maybe you said, this sister, maybe she's born Muslim, this is she's born Muslim. It's easy for them to put on the hijab. But for me, I wasn't born Muslim. It takes me time. I know this comes to your mind. Now we have an example now. We have an example now, a Romanian sister who became Muslim like a couple of years ago or something. And then she became Muslim and then she put on the hijab. Now she motivates you now to put on the hijab. Am I right? So the same thing we wanted you to do to the others, to motivate the others to say, you know what? Hijab is part of our faith. We have to put on the hijab. And when you are putting on the hijab, you will be not less Scottish. You are, you are who you are. You're still, you're still, your name is Amanda, yeah? You're still Amanda, the Scottish girl who's a Muslim. You understand? That's how it is. It's not, which means your identity is not seized from you. You will be not Pakistani, you will be not Arab, you will be Amanda, the Scottish Muslim sister. That's how it is. Does that make sense to you? Okay. When are you going to put on the hijab? That's the next one. When you go home? If we go to your hijab, will you wear it? If we go to your hijab? If we go, if we go to you today, hijab and abai, will you wear it? Will you do that? Okay. Your hijab and abaya is on me today. I'm generally saying this. Yeah. You will go with the, with Sister Salma. Yeah. There is a is there a place here to buy abaya and hijab? It's your road. It's your road home. Folk, huh? Okay. You want to join them? Yeah. If you want, they will get you and come back to you. Do you want to to wait here up to you? Whatever. It's your choice. If you want. Your hijab and abaya is a gift from me. Gift from me. Listen, not niqab, just hijab. Niqab and abaya is from me, a gift from me. Of your choice. You choose, and I don't mind whatever you think. This is a gift from me to you. Because you are my sister in Islam. And I wanted, you know, this is how duty, the duty of brothers and sisters in Islam, we should look after each other. Yeah? And I will give her my card. Yeah? She will go with you. You choose your, your hijab. You choose your abaya the way that you like. And, and I don't mind to do that. Friend, thank you call her, call her. Okay. Listen, if you want, the other choice as well, if you want, if, if you want to for them to get it for you, or you want to go with your friend, call your friend, and then you could go together. If you, if that makes you, if that makes you, if that makes you easier. Call your friend. Why here?